Spit-like foam and bubbles on your plants is one strong indicator that your yard has spittle bugs. Spittle bugs are pests named for the shelters they create when feeding on plant sap. The damage they cause isn't very harmful to plants, but their shelters are a nuisance to have to get rid of. They can also infest turf grass, creating occasional browning and discoloration in the lawn. While the spittle bugs themselves aren't very harmful, they're known to transfer bacteria to crop producing plants, causing leaf scorch and halting crop production. Nevertheless, having to remove the spittle shelters from your plants and grass can be annoying to deal with. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of spittle bugs so your lawn and yard can stay green and clean throughout the season. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about spittle bug control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plant is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. The easiest way to know you're dealing with spittle bugs is to look for their shelters. Spittle bug shelters are white, bubbly masses that are usually three quarters of an inch in size. Fun fact, that's not actually spit they're producing. It's excrement. The spittle bugs themselves are small, growing up to one quarter of an inch in length. They have soft, elongated bodies that are tan, pale yellow, or green in color. And they have large eyes on the sides of their heads. Spittle bugs are actually the nymphal phase of the frog hopper, a bug named because they resemble frogs and they hop well. Adult frog hoppers typically grow to about one-third of an inch in length. Their bodies are arched upward, similar to how a frog holds its posture. And they have enlarged hind legs for jumping. Frog hoppers can often be confused with other insects like leaf hoppers and tree hoppers. Though similar, these are very different pests with different behaviors that will impact your approach to treatment. To tell these pests apart, leaf hoppers have spines lining one or more pairs of their legs. Frog hoppers lack these spines and have stouter bodies. Tree hoppers, on the other hand, usually have elongated pronotums that look like horns. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Start with careful inspection of your lawn and garden to see where the most spittle bug activity is. A few spittle bugs in your yard is normal, but note any large concentrations of pest activity. Look for the spittle bug shelters as well as the bugs themselves, both the nymphs and the adult frog hoppers. If you're noticing patches of discolored grass, look for the bugs and their shelters towards the bases of grass blades. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. First, wash away any spittle bug shelters off shrubs, ornamentals, and turf grass with a stream of water. Alternatively, you can also wipe them off with a damp cloth. Once the spittle bugs and their shelters have been removed, you can apply a long-lasting residual insecticide like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a bifenthrin liquid insecticide concentrate that's labeled to control spittle bugs and more than 70 other pests. This product will need to be mixed with water before application, so we recommend you mix and apply it with a handheld pump sprayer. Before mixing your product, calculate your treatment area's square footage to determine how much product you need to use. You can do this by multiplying the area's length by its width. The application rate to treat spittle bugs with Supreme IT is 0.25 to 0.5 fluid ounces of product per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Use the higher rate in severe infestations. We recommend you mix one gallon of solution for every 1,000 square feet. Once your solution is evenly mixed, spray the tops and bottoms of ornamental leaves to the point of wet, but not runoff. Then, broadcast the solution evenly over your entire lawn. If applying Supreme IT, do not apply the solution to any plants grown for consumption. Allow the product to dry and do not let any people or pets into the treatment area. Once dry, Supreme IT will leave a residual chemical barrier that will repel and control pests for up to 90 days. Labeled pests, including spittle bugs, that come in contact with the spray or the residual will have their nervous systems impacted and will eventually die in several hours. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop spittle bug activity is to make sure it can't happen. Adult frog hoppers will lay their eggs in plant debris, so clean up leaf litter, regularly rake and dethatch your lawn, and pick up any fallen twigs and branches to keep your yard neat and free of any egg-laying sites. 
Avoid overwatering your garden and keep your lawn properly drained, since standing water can attract all kinds of pests to your yard. If you can't wash away spittlebug shelters without overwatering your lawn, then it's okay to wipe them off as mentioned earlier. Finally, keep up with regular pesticide reapplications to protect your yard year round. With Supreme IT, you'll want to make retreatments every three months for complete control. Spittlebugs will feed on plants and grass to create foam like shelters that can be a nuisance to clear away. But there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop spittlebugs from infesting your plants, and we offer free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how to and product videos, and contact us for more tips tricks, and DIY pest solutions.